Just head over to Garmin's website and download the Verb Edit software. In Strava, you just get your GPX file. This will be used for the data overlay. In the Verb Edit software, just create a video. Then we're going to get our video, import it. But just import only. Just drag it to the timeline and that zoom feature just allows you to see more of the footage. Go to the data metrics. Now on your computer, find that GPX file you just download and drag and drop. Now we're synchronizing. On the left side is your video and the right side is the GPX data. So on the left side, I'm just going through to a corner I know. I find that corner on the left side and I'm going to sync on the map where that corner is in real world. So I'm just moving that little red dot up and now they are synchronized. I'm just going to check that it is accurate. So you just watch the data metrics. So my cadence should be zero at a corner and then accelerate very fast. So that's the way I do it. Just click done. Now I'm just going to go another part of the video just to check that it is. I'll just drag a cadence across so I can see that's a bit easier than speed. So you should notice the cadence is zero because I'm coasting. And then it's, it's revving up because I'm around the corner. So that's pretty, pretty good. All right, now we export. You can pick HD, 1440p, your frame rate. I'm doing 30 because my GoPro only recorded in 30. And the exporting time is very, very long. It takes forever. 